yo what's up guys welcome back to another video as you can see we're back in my garage and like the title of the video says we are heading up to us air for our first comp of this year so i'm super excited um i've been looking forward to this comp since last year uh we did one last year on october 2nd which was actually my birthday i had a blast it was super fun so this year we're doing four four rounds and my car is turbo this year as you can see and i'm currently getting all my stuff ready putting my truck so we can head out uh we're heading there today uh, the company tomorrow morning it's three and a half hours away so we got a hotel we're staying at the hotel overnight and then tomorrow morning we just wake up go sit and go straight to the track so today i was working on sprayers for the car because uh last event i had the car was running really hot and i mean it was 90 something degrees outside but it's still running pretty hot so i went ahead and i mounted this sprayer in the back as you can see this water my whole trunk uh, i used to flood in my trunk like a dumbass I was filling the, the tank up and I went inside for a second and it, the whole thing literally filled up super fast. So uh, there's a drain on the bottom of this trunk right here, uh, as you can see right there. So all the water is just draining there. Just gotta let all the water drain out. I just went ahead and tested the sprayer and it works really good. Actually, I can show you guys. So I mounted a switch right here. Oh, you do hit the switch and then you come here. You see, I got five nozzles just throwing water to the radiator we got to the oil cooler and to the i mean to the power center cooler and to the oil cooler right here and to the inner cooler as one down, down here for the inner cooler so as you can see everything's getting sprayed up uh so this should keep my temps way down i'm actually gonna go ahead put the car outside and just leave the pump running for a little bit just to empty, just to drain it uh because i do not want to have that much water in the back of the car one it adds weight and two i don't need it i can just refill if i need more water but uh let's see, see this is super sturdy it's not going nowhere but it is a lot of water all right guys so i got all my stuff ready i'm ready to head out i'm gonna go pick up my friend and my brother so we can head to the track it's currently 7 30 so we'll be there around probably 11 11 30 and uh we'll get to the hotel but first we have to go to usr drop off the car drop off the trailer and then go to our hotel so we got a long night ahead of us i brought all my tools got my little mini bike got tires Got my jack, fuel. I'm pretty sure I have everything, so I'm ready to head out and uh, have a good night. If you guys watched my previous videos, you guys know that my trailer was really ugly. Uh, it was red. The wheels are still ugly. I gotta buy some black paint and paint them. Uh, they are rusty, but the trailer used to be red, really ugly. I went ahead and painted the whole trailer, and it made the whole trailer look so much better. Um, this side, the wheels are better on this side, but I'm gonna paint them all black just so it'll be all blacked out. But. Uh, I let a couple people borrow my trailer and got messed up so i went ahead and fixed it put a new box on it uh put some more uh brackets on that fix some lights on the side fix all the lights around so the trailer's a-okay now i'm not renting it out no more i used to rent out my trailer but people just destroy it they don't give a fuck about other people's property so um so I keep it the way it is and i'm just gonna keep it and just use it for my own cars and to tow cars around but not to let someone else borrow it but yeah let's get to my brother's house just gonna wait for him to come out and uh so heading out to us air all right guys so we just got here to us air it's 1207 we had to stop because one of our ramps fell off but as you can see i mean you can barely see but there's a couple cars out here it's a miata a couple of frs there's a truck right here it's hard to see but that's who won the last year first round uh, the, uh he won and he's a really good driver um a couple of my friends are here i can see the cars but we're gonna go ahead and get the car unloaded and head to our hotel because we gotta wake up early around 7 a.m tomorrow to come back here all right guys so we got to the hotel and uh, we're about to check <laughs> we're about to check in right now okay <laughs> so <laughs> this is the pickiest eater you will fucking see eating look at this guy took everything on the inside all right guys, so we're here on the track. We went ahead, checked in, put my new banner on and some door stickers. But we're all good, we all checked in. Uh, we're just waiting for the driver's meeting, it should be soon. And, uh, but yeah, it should be a fun day. Please don't be doing that. You know, if you're in town, take it easy. You know, they know
first lap. Uh, I hit myself with a nut sack, so that kind of hurt, but uh, I just got out of the phone with my brother. He said it wasn't terrible. I just have to fill the zone a little bit more. Uh, it's just that first outer zone is really hard to see over the hill, so you're just guessing where you're going. So the whole time you're guessing where you're going, uh, but once I finish it, I'm gonna do a second lap. I'm gonna try just to shoot out for a further outer zone, and then that should put me in the right spot to hit the whole zone. So that was the first lap, it wasn't terrible, so we'll see how I do on the second lap, and hopefully we just get better from here. of that run and that run was really good uh, the only thing I missed was the last outer zone I hit the dirt and it pushed me back too far for uh, the one before the second to last outer zone so when I went to transition for the outer zone I was too far out and I barely touched it so I just had to transition a little early and then don't put me exactly where I was supposed to be but uh, for the first zone I was on the whole zone the whole way on left foot braking so that felt great so I'm gonna go ahead Add a little bit more grip to the car, uh, and that should give me enough grip to hit all the other zones. But uh, we'll see for this third lap. Alright, guys, so we're about to go for our third lap. Uh, see how we do. T-bone that uh the FRS so luckily he was able to when he spun out he spun out and kept going now I just stopped because it's not would have hit him uh but now he's gonna follow me I want to tie them with Chris but I don't know where he's at I don't know if the car's broke or where did he go because he's not in the pits and he's not out here so I wanted to get some practice runs because his car is fast it makes a lot of smoke so I wanna see how it feels but I guess we're not gonna be able to so uh, hopefully he, he's, you know, hopefully this car is good. I don't know what's going on, so we'll wait and, and see what happens. All right, guys, I'm gonna follow my friend Angel with the Corvette. See how this goes. He's a really good driver, so it should be pretty good. And he's pretty quick, so. <laughs> Good, so I'll see my lead.
So I had a fuel pressure issue. I was getting like 20 PSI. The hose goes to the fuel pump, uh, the clamp was loose. So I ended up getting it all that tight. And the fuel and the fuel is getting super hot. I have no idea why the fuel is getting so hot. But um, so I, I got the car cooled down, went for another ride. We have fuel pressure, AFRs were good. So I think we should be fine. But on the, on the last lap that I did, which was with Chris, the guy who I'm going to be going against, uh, my car had no power at all. It was super lean. I don't know how I didn't blow the car up. It had only 20 PSI of fuel pressure. So uh, luckily I didn't blow it up. But uh, so the car should be way better now. Uh, we're about to do the driver's meeting and then we're going to do our battles. All right, guys, so we're about to head out to the comp here with Chris again. So this is going to be a competition. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. So whoever wins goes to the next round. running a little hot though so I don't know if we're gonna stop or alright guys so we got one more time we're gonna go again uh this should be fun oh yeah I'm excited <laughs> So we got two fucking one more times. Woo, holy fuck. I have to put on his fucking door this time. Hell yeah. But uh they let us cool down and change tires. So I'm gonna go spray down my I'ma spray down my intercooler, my radiator, everything because my car is running really hot. <laughs>
don't know how close he was to me, but that wasn't terrible. I guess we'll see what we get. For the fucking first round, three one more times, we fucking got it. Hell fucking yeah, guys! Super fucking excited. Woo! I love Chris. His car is fucking dope. Last year was NA. Uh, we had some good runs last year too, but this year was way better. I'm on his fucking doors all the time, and he's on my fucking door. Just good ass fucking runs. So hell yeah, guys! Super fucking excited. Woo! Oh my god! Fuck! You guys have no idea how fucking excited I am right now. All right, guys, so we're going for round two with a VQ240 as well. Uh, NA VQ240. So it's gonna be fun. top four right now against the FC that we won earlier so it should be fun he's a good driver so hopefully we do some door tangents over here Pretty shitty, to be honest.
All right, so we're going one more time. My car is already at 200, so it's gonna be fun. All right, boys, I'm about to do that one more time again.
Let's give a quick round of applause for our man that set everything in motion, Adam Billings. <laughs> That's going to be good for the blank canvas job. The second take here is about $100 as well. Good for the third place, we've got 50 bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, guys, thank you guys so much for coming out. Big hand for our drivers, big hand for our staff and our media for being out here. So let's give it up for one more time. Really appreciate this And I guess lastly, if we can get a little applause for the crowd here, you guys have been great. Thanks for hanging with us all the way to the end. This has been a lot of fun. All right, guys, as you just saw the last clip, I got first place. Uh, super excited. I'm so glad that I won. Uh, unfortunately, the thrifty to see this fan when he was following me, uh, he was just trying to be too aggressive, trying to get on my door, and he was cooking too fast and just spun out. So I got the win. I didn't want to win like that, but I mean, a win is a win. And he's fucking fast. He's a good driver. You know, he made it, you know, top two. So, but yeah, I'm super excited. First comp that I win, and this is the second comp I ever do. And this is the kind of a second time that I actually drive the car in tandem with it. So for this season, yeah, with the whole new setup. So it's super, super dope to just come out here and put a show for everyone and, and win. But yeah, shout out to Fernando and Adair and my brother for all the help this weekend. And uh, and these tires, I had to put them on 10 PSI just to keep up with the guy. So you see, these are 245s. Um, I didn't have any 265 left, so I just ran 245s. And that 350Z was in 295s. And uh, so I had to put them on 10 PSI, but I mean, they hooked and booked. So shout out to Acelera, Tire Street. And uh, I'm super pumped. All right, guys, so I got this big check for 250. I got a 3.8 impact from Adam. Big shout out to Adam for putting this event on. And uh, it was great, super fun. Can't wait for the next three rounds. And then Enzo gave me a care package as well. We got some detailing stuff some of their own energy drinks so, super soft towels sprayers for all the all the all the cans and uh yeah so big shout out to them as well for uh, hooking me up with that care package all right guys so as you can see we're back home and i got the car already all the way unloaded from the truck um, i still have all my tools and stuff in the truck i'll do that later but uh, i went out to meet my buddies and i took my car out and i just went and took my car uh, just for a quick drive make sure everything was good but yeah so i had a blast yesterday again i know i said this a couple times already but big shout out to adam for making this event um it was super fun i cannot wait for july 15th which is the second round um it will be in usr but it will be a different layout so all four rounds will have a different layout which is pretty good so i like that he's changing the layout because it makes it that more exciting for everyone who is uh driving but uh yes yeah, so if you guys want to watch more of the car want to watch me on july 15th make sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one